Guys, congratulations on the film. It is, uh, it's fantastic. Uh, Great. I love Scott Cooper as a filmmaker anyway, but I think I was saying to Christian and, and uh, Harry next door about the fact that I think it's quite smart that he's cast this with all Brits, given how cold everything was in this. That's, that, I think that's smart, given that us as Brits no, quite used to the, to the cold. To... Was it quite cold? It looked pretty, pretty cold. Pretty cold. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty cold. Yeah. That's the one time where you don't mind having all the corset yeah. and the layers. Yeah, of lots it. of layers. Yeah, yeah. I'll Keep take it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we don't moan the same, do we? Well, we are Brits, I suppose. We probably would moan. Just right. under your breath oh, instead. you guys moan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely moan. Um, there's, there's so much to love about this. For you two, uh, not to give any spoilers away, but for your relationship in the, in the film, uh, what did you see in it that was maybe different that you guys had, had done before? Because there's a lot of layers to every single character and it's done so, so brilliantly by, by Scott in the film. So what, what drew you to this relationship and these two women? Um, well, I think um, the, the time period definitely drew me um, uh, and wanting to work with Scott because I too am a fan of his filmmaking um, and I, I mean I, I found that the, the nature of Mrs. Marquis's relationships to everybody so um, an enigmatic in a way <laughs> so it really it felt like it, it left a lot to play for I felt that my relationship with Lucy for instance changed almost in every scene like sometimes mm. I was very protective and sometimes jealous and sometimes um, admonishing and and there was something about that I think that intrigued me uh, that nothing was predictable and in fact what you find out of course by the end of the film is that it's uh, it, it's not that everybody has two sides but they definitely have um, uh, uh, mu there's much more complexity in it than you might have guessed in the first viewing perhaps. Mm. Yeah, your character goes through quite a lot in terms of who she is and, and <laughs> yeah. her, her condition that she has, and then everything else that that happens in the in the two hours. That must it must be great to go to work every day because there's a lot of stuff in there for you to kind of digest as a as an actor. Yeah, and I think with this genre specifically, like with horror and gothic horror, um, I love that you can be. I think as an actor, you're much more analytical about the audience's experience of it, and I'm much more focused on that and the audience mm. perception of your character and manipulating that than you are with any other genre, any other role where you don't have to be. Um, so it's really fun kind of creating a character where you're trying to create a different experience the first time the audience watches it and then the second time it feels quite different. Um, and so it was fun kind of, yeah, putting that together and, and, and working that out with Scott. Yeah, there's a great ensemble in this, but I have to ask you about, there's so many YouTube videos of so many actors, directors, and famous people just, just waxing lyrical about Christian Bale, <laughs> about how good he is, his craft, how, everything mm -hmm. else. What was it like to you to go to work and see him doing the things he does? Because in every single film, he's always different. Mm -hmm. He's like a mm -hmm. chameleon, and he's so unpredictable as a, as a person and as, a, as an actor. What was it like to, to see him working, particularly as he's part of the, the team behind this as well. Yeah, yeah. It was interesting, you know, playing a small character and coming in and being so eccentric. And um, uh, it was interesting observing him observing me, but observing him knowing that there's part of him that actually isn't Christian observing me. Part of him in the scene is his character observing me, which was so... Um, perplexed by <laughs> what Mrs. Marquis was all about, that um, I remember thinking um, almost at times, like how mad, how mad, like how mad am I? How mad is this <laughs> coming across? And is it, okay, what, what, what are the boundaries around my uh, mental uh, performance? at this time and anyway so yeah it was uh but he's very he's uh he's fun he's a good mm. he's a good um uh he's a good he's a good energy to have about on a set isn't he yeah yeah he just made it really fun I think. yeah he's really like easy to be around and i think i mean i think when you have creators creatives like Scott and Christian, where they take their craft so seriously and care so much, it really gives you permission to throw yourself in and go 
to any length and just kind of explore and play. Um, so it was a really, yeah, it was a fun environment. But he also didn't, his character doesn't give away very much, which is part yeah. of what the, you know, yeah. the thing is about, you know, I think in, in a second watch you can, uh, you'll see a yeah. lot more, but, but definitely um, it doesn't feel like there's that much going on. Mm. <laughs> But there is. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was quite telling when Joaquin Phoenix won his award and he's like, just can you just suck once so that we can all <laughs> win some awards because you're just like always so good. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's why he's so compelling. Ladies, mm. thank you so much for your time. Thank Pleasure you. Pleasure to you both. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey!